My name is Melania. Bloody of Mikella. She's tough. I can see how she would be like in the middle third of difficulty in this one. All you gotta do is just not get hit. Let me get some loot first. You never know. Hello? A person? Are you a person? You an individual? Liar ahead. Okay, so no hidden path. Secret? I'm not giving you anything. There's an elevator? Seek ladder. By the way, precious item? The, it's only for after the boss. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't look down. Stop watching the stream with your eyes closed. Audio only listener spotted. Okay, hold on. Put me in. I'm going to be honest. I think I saw one attempt of Apollo fighting this boss. If she is a lady who has a red sword. And every attack that the boss did, he just said, how are you supposed to dodge that? How are you supposed to dodge that? And what I look, I was, this was earlier in my Elden Ring career, but I said to myself, it looks like you just pressed the circle button. This better not be... Taken away from my Diet Coke, man. My Diet Coke is a very limited range. It gets metabolized at one milliliter per minute. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold and my blood rotted. Cool. Yo, let's be honest. Miyazaki, he was like, I'm going to give her shoes, but she's also going to have a French manicure. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, the holly tree is about to be sundered. There's scarlet rot everywhere, but she has a perfect French manicure. All right, whatever you say. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. I'm Gimli, son of Gloin. Dex user, no doubt. And I have never known defeat. <laughs> defeat? I, I wanted to type my beloved real quick. I mean, just say it. Okay, I'm not scared. We run. We mash. That seems bad. Anytime they charge up an attack, you know you're in trouble. Give me two sips. You're not punishing. I'm initiating. Hitboxes. Oh, now that's a dodge. I gotta give you credit on that one. Now that's a dodge. I'm double sipping. Eight flasks. That's not great. Have panic rolls ever served anyone better than this? I mean, what do you want to do? On, a, on your first attempt of a boss fight, you panic roll. You don't know what anything does. Holy cow. She has no stagger window. It's You got to take a crit on that one for sure. This is not smart. She's pretty tanky. Does she heal when she hits us? Is that what that red was? Does she give you the Bloodborne Crescent that everybody's talking about on Twitter? She does. She life steals. You piece. That's the attack. That's the one that everyone says, how are you supposed to dodge that? Ooh, what a move. What a move. Try dodging. That's a, that's a neat trick. Flaskless. Any percent flaskless. I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm piecing some of this together. She's tough. 
I could see how she would be like in the middle third of difficulty in this game. One thing I think you can do is run from her instead of dodge rolling. But I gotta internalize what some of these attacks actually mean. If you can dodge an attack and then do a jump attack, we're gonna be happier. Okay, that did not work and she healed a ton. That was really fast. <laughs> She's smoothing. She heals for 300 every hit. Well, it's simple then. All you gotta do is just not get hit. If you could just not get hit, then is then is no worry whatsoever. She took me five days. Are we are we in the running for calling this the hardest boss in in Souls history then? Or is there still one Chalice Dungeon boss on New Game Plus 9 that nobody's ever defeated? It's not even close. She definitely is. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm happy to be here. It sucks that she heals for 300 a hit. And uh, one of those attacks does 5,000 hits. Like, that strikes me as the kind of thing that'll, that'll cause you problems. Yeah, I think I just literally walked into it. <laughs> I think she was nerfed. No, just because I'm crushing her and you stink doesn't mean she was nerfed, okay? It means that you're jealous. I gotta give you credit for a strong move. I thought you was staggered. That's my bad. We shouldn't go toe to toe with lifesteal. That's horrendous. My progress. <laughs> 1.48% of people on Steam have gotten this achievement. You think, uh, so you're saying this is easier than Isaac? So I feel like Isaac Platinum God is at like, um, sub 1%. So the fact that a bunch of people, like only, you know, one in 75 people is beating this boss doesn't surprise me. I would be more surprised if more than one in 75% of people had beaten Godric, quite frankly, based on the quality of the uh, host we usually get when we're summoned. I'm going in. Regrettable. I'm going back in. Huge. Then we run. Running. Running will serve you. Then we, we run and we jump. Okay, what a kick. She glinted. Help. Don't read my inputs. I feel like we made no progress there. You need to get staggered, you piece. She's glinted me. She's glinted me. She glinted me. <laughs> Yo, you're right. I gotta go to uh, controller port 2 so she doesn't psychomantis me. I see you've spent 800 hours playing Isaac in the last two years. Wow, the pandemic really hit some people harder than others. I knew what attack it was. But it had to go through my brain. And the killer instinct went through my spinal cord. My balls sent a message to my hands that was like, get her, she's weak. My brain was like, no, don't do it. But the balls travel right through the spinal cord. It doesn't have to, like, there's no toll booths. The brain has to, should I spend time thinking about this? And that's why the balls win. Talk to my brain there for a second there. My, my brain was doing a negotiation. I, it was like, you've got a punish window, get in there. And I was like, you have no red and no green. Are you stupid? And then I was like, you know what? Yes is the answer. Always turn this on. We could help other people, although I have to imagine, like co-op is actually harder in some ways. I do feel like, um, well, I don't know if a host got here, they gotta have a certain zuzziness to them, right? Whatever. If you hit me, but you don't get lifesteal off of it, it's not so bad. <laughs> Crit window is pretty small. You pretty much got to be right in there, huh? Great opportunity for this. And then bait and run. Mission fucking failed, for sure. Take a sip. Somebody did react content, and they put a URL of my Twitch stream in the video description when it went up on YouTube. 
Uh, fucking everybody who watched the video clicked the link in the video description, obviously, because that's how people find new content online. You do it as a nice gesture to say, like, you know, thank you for allowing me to use this content. I got impatient. You do it because it's thank you for being a friend down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a friend and a confidant. Exactly. Don't get greedy. This, you don't even know it yet. This could be like a one in 500 boss fight right here. Take your sweet time. There's phase two. Come on, man. I thought, I thought that was it. I was like, this shit took you five hours? Put the overlay on. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Is it Booba or Sokka? She's just like a flower. Miyazaki, stop trying to get me banned. It's okay, she's got like scarlet rot over her nipples and her butt crack. According to the FTC, that's not actually nudity. That's news. Rata? You have Scarlet Rod powers. Nice try. Ah, fuck. Okay, so like legitimately, we actually need to take a moment to go find the cookbook. You know that, remember that cookbook that I scoffed at earlier and said I will never find? I think we should go back and take a little, take a little glance. I think, in hindsight, I actually, I just like to heal real quick. <laughs> you honestly don't need it. No, I don't want to use my dragon stone yet because I don't know if I want to upgrade the dragon claw. I feel like I might want to upgrade a different weapon, but we got other things that are top of mind right now. Okay. Big explosion is the only rot move. Okay, don't worry about it then. Don't sweat it. What about rune arcs? You guys gotta stop being little weasels, okay? And you know, I don't mean to call you a detestable animal when I say that. I mean it in the same way that Randall was kind of a weasel on recess. Or the way like that as soon as your teacher like announces an assignment, you're already scanning uh, like the rubric in order to figure out how to game the system. We died on phase two the first time we saw it. That's very normal. All of it, you're like, how do we, but what if I, um, what if it's a leap year? What if, um, uh, what if I, oh, it's gotta be at least 10 pages? Uh, what is, is there a maximum font size? Is there a maximum uh, margin size? You gotta stop, you just gotta write the paper, okay? The last time you, say, you spend squirming trying to find the easy way out, the easier, psychically it will be for you to just do the work oh that's gonna hurt well i'm f now it's weird to say now that there's like now that i know that i'm dead this is perfect timing for this that was actually kind of close but now that i know that there's a phase two i feel better ab about phase one like, on a cognitive level, on a confidence level, now that I know that there's a phase two, I'm like, well, then don't sweat phase one so much. It can't be that hard if they put a second phase after it. Middle third, middle third. That was obviously a joke. 
She's tough. I can see how she would be like in the middle third of difficulty in this game. You need to read your humor rubric. You need to go back to comedy school where your professor Don Rickles will teach you how to recognize a joke when you see one. And the Dean of Admissions, Amy Schumer, could give you a scholarship. Run? I did not run. Holy shit, I'm alive. Fuck you. We bladder? What's she doing? What the dog doing? What the blade doing? My name is Melania. Bloody of Michaela. When God gives you gators, you make Gatorade. Okay, phase one. No sweat, man. Phase two. Don't get rotted. Don't get suspicious. Don't be suspicious. What's your thing? Hitboxes. That's novel. Oh, no. My everything. Sip me? Okay, so she's the sip punisher. You knew one of these two phases was going to punish your damn sips. Fuck you! Fair enough. Fair enough. It's not like the bolus would have saved us there. Oh, come on! Phase one's kind of free, huh? As long as she never does any of like the eight attacks I can't dodge. What about two-handing a great shield to survive that move? Look, I'm never gonna say never, okay? Because like, I don't know, we could be fight, uh, stuck on this fight for 10 years. We could be stuck on this fight for 10 minutes. But the reason, like, if you lose to a gym leader in Pokemon, uh, you have to change the Pokemon you're using is because, like, when you're going Zapdos versus Geodude, Zapdos doesn't have a dodge button. He's just kind of like a guy. You know, Zapdos can't just pepper him with lightning bolts and then have perfect dodge rolls and the perfect smoky eye. I have a lot of tools at my disposal that are not available to the average Pokemon trainer. Like, a, the circle button is the strongest defensive ability in video game history. Fuck me. I, I almost lived. I almost lived. Bonk rating on this boss? I'm not gonna do a smash or pass Elden Ring bosses. Because I don't want you to know that the only thing in the S tier is gonna be every variant of the Erd Tree avatar. Definitely all those saplings can get it too. You know, like those large, they're like 50 feet long tree snakes. No doubt about that. All the dragons, that's a gimme. Hey, I was wondering, by the way, has anyone made a science-based dragon MMO yet? How long do you think this boss will take Dan? The thing is, you have to go on a journey to get here in the first place. The Dan of, you know, March 18th, 2022, is not gonna be the same Dan that makes it to this fight. He'll have gone through a journey, perhaps even with some self-discovery. So he, it's, I'm setting myself, myself up for failure by basing it on old information. If he makes it to this boss, that's the ultimate punish. If he makes it to this boss and still has not leveled essentially any HP, I don't know if I could doubt him at that point, just because of the fact that he will have conquered some serious, like, challenges to get there. So in a weird way, fair enough, him making it this far would almost be like, I would be like, it might take him an hour. <laughs> Melania can't steal your life if she kills you in one hit. It's Melania? Mm, Melania. Baleg day. <laughs> Sorry, just... I take your correction and respond with a bad faith meme. You're... I was... I was getting... So you're healing off my corpse? I love what people are like, he's still going at it. He's still at this boss? Did you just go serve a prison sentence in a time dilation chamber? It's been like 25 minutes. Did you have a chore that you put off that you were like, okay, fine, I'll do it now. And then while you were doing it because it's a chore you didn't want to do, it felt like it took forever, but actually it was only like 15 minutes. Like, 
Your sense of time is is all it's all bunged up, man. Your internal clock is busted. Every laundry day? I'm just gonna say it. You're not gonna make it in this world if you procrastinate laundry day. Unless you have to wash your clothes in the river with one of those washboards. Like it's it's the easiest task. I get okay, never mind. Let me let me reframe if you have to go to a laundromat then it becomes an annoying chore if you have in unit in-house laundry machines you have no excuse well except for like you know being burnt out i'll give you that one sometimes even easy chores can feel like you know they're tough i'm leaning back that's how you know it's a tough fight i'm saving my fifa mode for later what the heck owns Owned, owned. That's pretty owned. Oh, no! Her window is so small, man. I created a unique mashing pattern. Oh, no. I'm dead. <laughs> Hold on. I'm insane. I'm the best that's ever fought Melania. No. I'm still the best that's ever done it. It's just a rhythm game. I just gotta figure out what song it is. I don't think it's YYZ. But it, well, it depends, because there's like different parts of YYZ. There's the part in the middle where it goes like and then Getty Lee is like the star of the show and he goes and Neil Parrott's like, I'm not going to be upstage. And then Alex Lifeson's like, forgot about me. Okay, sorry, sorry. Flawless, flawless performance incoming. Honestly, dude, you're going to laugh at me. We kind of got something. We're going to get hit by parts of that every time. But I'm starting, in my brain, I'm starting to figure out how we dodge most of it, at least. That was when he truly started to believe. I have no green. Any chance? <laughs> I deserve that. That is, like, insane greed. Didn't see that one coming up. I should probably heal. Yeah, but you know what? We're getting somewhere. With that with the flurry, we're getting somewhere. Get off your high horse, start summoning the mimic tier. How bad at um hard things do you have to be that like in your own game taking the easy way out wasn't enough for you? Just watching someone do something hard because they're enjoying it tilts you. That is honestly like I mean you're you're a self-doubter. And that's the saddest thing of all. I'm trying to open up a path to, like, greater enlightenment for you. If wh Whatever you want to do in your own game couldn't bother me at all because I can't see it. But seeing someone else go through the struggle and, and being fulfilled by it, I mean, if that bothers you, you got to look in the mirror. Plus, I don't even have the bell. That's a horrible start. <laughs> it's balanced with ash summons in mind yeah everybody knows nobody cares like it's all it's good play the game however you want to play the game it's also balanced so if you press the circle button when the boss doesn't attack most of the time you won't take damage does anyone know what her name is hey yo what's her name anyone up fighting Melania, Blade of Ivanka, I'm going in. This is, it's the rare be aggressive fight. The first part is kind of a race. Well, 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 nice flurry. Except for how it wasn't at all. You're, you know what? She kind of looks like Miss Begotten Warrior. I deserve that one. 
She kind of looks like Miss Begotten Warrior. If I just, like, in my head imagine that I'm fighting Miss Begotten Warrior, that's going to be a big confidence boost. <laughs> Some dangerous copium. It's Miss Begotten Warrior. It's, it, they just have a sword and a roar, and they do a lot of overhead attacks. So you just race. You just go, you start there, you tank some hits, you get a lot of staggers, you go straight for the crit, you're too late. I gotta be honest, Miss Begotten's stagger window is a little bit longer than that, by probably a factor of like seven or eight. My man's is actually starting to hallucinate. Isn't that what you wanted? Everyone's always trying to get me to, ooh, smoke weed. Yeah, yeah, I am Misbegotten, Blade of the Crucible Warrior fight. I'm leaving my runes there as a nice bonus for us in the future. If we get to phase two, we can pick up our zero runes. I'm gonna need you to tell me what button is the uh, stagger. <laughs> I, get, I hit L1 by accident. It's R1, that's correct. It is R1. How, excuse me, how about a little sip? How about a little My Beloved? Okay, how My Beloved? It's, it puts her her stagger range. She's been rendered vulnerable by the tenderness of my true feelings. Her makes her 4% easier to stagger and reduces her physical damage absorption. She's still pretty strong even with it. Like, it's not a guarantee, but I am Schmidt Davidson, Bane of Kanye. Twice a day, I think of the... Uh, I think of the Pete Davidson picture. La <laughs> oh man. In bed with your wife. Okay, I wait for you to attack, okay? Then we hit you with one of those and we back it off a little bit. Then you Sasuke me. That's fine. That's not it's we're still getting into good habits here, okay? I'm sipping twice. You know how you know how souls goes. You dodge attacks, you punish on the on the dodge. You dodge attacks. Probably try getting like some red at some point. Another two flasks down. That's how close. That's okay. She's almost dead. Lose patience. Rush in there. Stagger her. Take your crit. Hit her again as she gets up. Get some green. Return some green. You punish on the dodge. Pray. As long as you dodge away from her in the last one, we live. Because we leveled our HP. Like Taj Mori, a smart guy. You're so lucky. You're so lucky you should have been staggered 20 times. That was better. We got it. Here's the thing. We got 90% of the way to the goal going John Daly mode. Two packs of cigarettes a day, drinking Budweiser's on the course. Maybe you get lucky you win one player's championship like that. If you want to achieve a grand slam, you got to start doing Rory McIlroy strats. You got to start doing Tiger Woods strats, okay? You got to start doing things the right way and not asking for variants to, to win the lottery for you. So we wait for you to attack we dodge and punch we mash roll actually dodge all that for once we're dancing it took a while it took a while for us to get back in the dance with one another mostly because i was doing a lot of that now we're dancing again backstab me let's go take a sip instead of taking some greed what are you doing what are we doing next didn't expect the follow-up it's foolish of me. Apparently, there's 20 follow-ups on that one. That's my. I'm going in one more. Terrible decision. I'm sipping. I'm sipping twice. That's the worst we've done on that one in a while. You see the light flickering on and off. It's back. Is it? It's brighter in here than it used to be. That would be fucked up if you forgot to pay the electric bill. 
and they turned your devices off one at a time. They start with like your office light bulb. As long as they don't start with my fridge. I'm, I deserve to die on that one. Yeah, is this like, she's wearing the same helmet as Radon. Is this like Radon's sister or something? It can't be because um, she her name doesn't start with an R. It actually is her half-sister, his half-sister. Well, how about that? Another uh, lore discovery sniped thanks to me. Make sure you give me attribution in the video description when you make your uh, lore master videos, please. Surprise! Oh, man. You were so surprised. You were like, what? Jump attack. Ooh! You gotta roll into her? I would plug the controller in the other port if I had another USB port available. Unfortunately, I do not. They're all spoken for. I have an essential oils diffuser plugged into uh, three of them at the same time. Wait until he learns there's a phase three with a 10 foot tall misbegotten. Honestly, you've just motivated me to beat phase two. I know it's not true, but as George Costanza says, it's not a lie if you believe it. Now, let's try a new strat. Uh, we interrupted her unskippable attack. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's better. As long as we have the green to manifest it, I think there's a certain je ne sais quoi. How, how about one of those? That's called using the terrain to your advantage. Yep. Okay, fair enough. If you read the lore, you know she hates pizza. I mean, I think I would hate pizza. Sorry, my beloved. I think I would hate uh, pizza too if I was dead, because that would mean that I couldn't eat it, which is probably the only reason that anyone ever could hate pizza. I recognize that that sounds like what uh, like a small child would say, but pizza gotta be close to the most beloved food on the planet if not the most beloved food on the planet it's polymorphic you can have it um, on a bagel for example you can have it in a miniature form it can be square it can be circular it can be all of these things and more it can have vegetables it can have meats it makes the vegetables on it superior. It's the most fun way to eat arugula. That, that one threw off my whole mojo. I'm just going to be honest. If we hit that attack where I, I 9 o'clocked when I should have nooned, she's done, man. Quesadilla, kind of like a pizza, is true. Going to Italy in May, going to eat so much dang pizza. I would do the same. I hear they got great dominoes there. Papa Giovanni's. You can eat pizza anywhere. Yeah, that's true. If you're going to Italy, don't eat something like pizza. You can get it anywhere. Eat something exotic like spaghetti. Mix it up a little bit. Worth. I'll, I'll take one flask. Oh, I'm dead. There's just no chance. You're not, with 1% of your HP, I don't think so. I'm not trying to sound so well-traveled, okay? I've never been to Italy, but I feel like I like Italian-style pizza. Because I once was like, I don't eat like normal pizza most of the time. One of my favorite pizzas is a little unusual. Prosciutto di Parma, Fior di Latte, little bit of ricotta and some basil. And then everybody in chat from North America went, whoa, 
want no pepperoni. And everybody in chat from Italy said, my brother in Christ, that's just pizza. So just from this alone, I have to assume that I'm more of an Italian pizza kind of guy. Help. You need to bleed. Help. I got the bleed trigger. I got to go. I got I got no stand. Close. Close to living, at least. Also, I... Look, I'm, like, not this kind of guy. Like, if anything, I'm, like, a libertarian. I think everybody should be able to do anything. I think you should be able to commit murder if you can pay the cops a big enough bribe that they decide it's in their best interest not to investigate, okay? That's my political compass. But I actually... Have you ever looked at the nutritional information on pepperoni? It should be illegal to sell it. So we made some homemade pizzas. We bought a bag of pepperoni. As long as we're talking about the ratios of ingredients, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Because one container of cheese was like two pizzas. The pre-made crusts came in a four-pack, and you needed two sauce containers to do it. But the pepperoni lasted like ten pizzas. But every slice of pepperoni is ten calories. And a slice of pepperoni is like like a centimeter in diameter. It's got to be like, don't get me wrong. I like the flavor of pepperoni. I liked it more before I knew that the average slice of pepperoni pizza had like 200 calories of pepperoni on it alone. Like I feel like I could you just put like pure like royal icing on my pizza instead? Could you just Instead of giving me a pepperoni pizza, can you just give me, like, a slice of cheese pizza and a beer? Focus. Good focus. Good focus. We did it. <laughs> this is not a bad take. I'm not saying eat less calories. I'm saying deploy your calories more effectively than pepperoni. A little pepperoni, like a couple of slices, is probably, like, okay. But, like, I know there's people out there that are probably eating, like, pepperoni sandwiches. You gotta check that, man. Because, like, you're actually... I'm being sincere with you. It's harming you. It's harming you more than it's helping you. Like, I don't want to be at the pearly gates. Had a heart attack at age 57. St. Peter's like, how did that shit happen? And I'm just like, oh, I just mindlessly ate, like, mini pepperonis out of the fridge. Like, that's not how I want to go. You're so lucky. Oh my god. Input reader. Input reader. Input reader. F you. I'm going to make a pizza with a pepperoni crust. That'll show me when you're dead. Look, there's probably things that people have died for. And then when they like were looking down at their body as they were floating up, they were like, that was worth it. I'm glad I did that. I saved a drowning child in exchange for my life. Wow, that's honorable. No one's going to be like, eh, and then they're going to be like going up and they're going to be like, yeah, you know what? I wouldn't trade uh, all that pepperoni I ate and wasn't even like mindfully enjoying. I would definitely do that again in exchange for like 15 years of my life. Or can't they just like engineer like a pepperoni that tastes the same but is like not poisonous? They got to be able to do it. Okay, you got me. Like, can't you just, like, crossbreed a pepperoni that is, like, three calories a slice instead of ten? Can't you just make, like, a pepperoni fuck a carrot and then get it? It's... Is that not how this works? This is a really good start for me. I'm just, I'm dead easily. Did her health bar even spawn? 10 calories a slice is what you're upset about? Yeah, because the slice is like, it's not, it's like the size of a quarter. The slices were not thick. They were average pepperoni size. I'm telling you. It's pizza. You have worse problems. No, man, definitely the pepperoni was the worst part of the pizza. I'm not saying, like, meat is always worse for you than bread. I'm just saying, like, the pepperoni is definitely worse for you than the pizza crust. Not all meats, but the pepperoni abs... Like, it, it might be the worst meat for you on a macronutrient breakdown. 
I have to imagine it's up there. Maybe like pork belly beats it. There's no way that's true. I mean, it's either that or like bologna or something, man. People are like, you ever look up the calories in cheese? Well, I mean, the cheese is gonna be also calorie rich. Don't get me wrong, but look at the look at the density of calorie for a slice of pepperoni versus cheese. Like, if I ate a pepperoni ingot that was the size of my cheese ingot, it would be like, it would probably be 500 calories. Cheese is worse. You guys, honestly, I'll see you in heaven. Keep a chair warm for me, because you're going to be there like 20 years before me. Let's try, let's try a Morgan Spurlock diet, okay? All pepperoni diet versus all cheese diet. Well, that's not what we meant. Cheese is pure fat, pepperoni is fat and protein. Pepperoni is not a protein-rich meat. Like, you got, again, you got to evaluate versus the counterfactuals. I'm not saying, like, take all... I'm not saying just eat pizza crust. That's asinine. All I'm saying with you is that maybe instead of pepperoni, have, like, some chicken or something like that. Or at least go in with, like, Italian sausage or something like that. Something superior in flavor and probably roughly equivalent in terms of its caloric content. The goalposts are moving. Okay, well, I, I didn't realize that there were a lot of, like, pepperoni mill uh, airs in the chat. Pepperoni, when I said uh, completely seriously that pepperoni should be illegal, I gotta be honest, that part I didn't actually mean in a literal sense. Cheetos aren't that bad for you. Have you ever looked up the calories in peanut butter? Good take. Very, very smart take. Any cardiologists in the chat? Hold on. Pop up here, please. Go ahead. I'm not scared. Okay, that one... You pretty much gotta be point blank if you're gonna stagger that one. What even is pepperoni? Pepperoni... I got... Okay. It, one... I, you, look, you stunlocked me here, okay? Pepperoni, five calories per gram. Cheese, three, three calories per gram. How about that? It's got 2x the cat. Well, okay, let's be honest. It's got 1.65 the calorie density of, of cheese. She's, she's pretty tough so far. I don't know. We might take us a couple hours. <laughs> she's tough. I mean, we, we're like not even close, honestly. We got a long way to go. You got to get out of there as soon as you see the bleed trigger. Hold on, I can't, I can't get distracted right now. I'm stunlocked in chat. I found a horrible take that's scientifically false I need to respond to. So I can't believe someone in chat just said protein is more calorie dense than fat. You gotta look up the basic table of macronutrient breakdowns. Protein is four calories per gram. Run. Fat is nine calories per gram. You've been fed fake news or like... I don't even know. Maybe your dad owns like a peanut butter factory or something. In which case... Don't kill me. I hope it's one of the cool ones. What about carbohydrates? Also four calories per gram. You guys don't have a... No! This is like basic biology. I'll pivot off the calorie talk when Chad admits that they're wrong and pepperoni is worse for you than cheese. You're going to say cheese is worse than pepperoni? It's not. This is going to become the new kangaroo video. Are you saying it's better for you than cheese or are you taking the absolutely asinine take that these two foods are both exactly the same? Which seems like impossible. Okay, hold on. You got to dodge towards. Give me a little towards. Give me a little away. Look, hot dogs I'll give you, okay? I would rather eat a little pepperoni over a hot dog. That being said, I would, I'm would. i kind of feeling like a hot dog right now. I'm also kind of feeling like some pepperoni right now, to be honest with you. Now that we've been talking about it so much. The question... Uh, hold on, I got you. The question is not... What creates more calories on a pizza? Cheese or pepperoni? I will say, unless you fuckers are sauce in your or cheese in your pizza up like crazy, 
I think you probably break even at like eight small slices of pepperoni. I think it's less than you think. No one's making your pizzas without cheese, but you can make them without pepperoni. Eight slices, you crazy. I forgot everyone in America lives in New York or Wisconsin. A pizza slice, we gotta delineate the, the size of it, okay? Chicago deep dish might get you on the cheese. I mean, one slice of Chicago deep dish nullifies the conversation. You should not be talking about caloric count if you're eating Chicago deep dish. It's like every slice that you eat is probably like 1200 plus calories, I'd have to guess. You're putting more effort into arguing than beating the boss? You're putting an infinite amount more into arguing than you are into beating the boss. So don't even start with me, you damn hypocrite. I didn't know that that had range. I thought that was a short range attack. I'm just... Go ahead, tweet it. Can we get is any verified streamers in chat right now with, like, larger followings than me? I see your clips sometimes on live stream fail. You're like, I was watching NL play this. Out yourselves, okay? And then tweet, what's worse for you, cheese or pepperoni? And then don't look at the replies that have, like, their car as their avatar. Look at the replies where they have, like, a lab coat, okay? Don't look at somebody that knows... I'm dead. Exactly how much a Domino's pepperoni pizza costs. Like, ask somebody who knows how to, like, do a titration. Nobody with a soccer player as an avatar, please. I have a master's in chemical engineering. Is that good enough? Okay, well, it depends on your answer. What's worse for you, pepperoni or cheese? Thankfully, neither. That doesn't even make any sense. What you've just said makes no sense. Also, I didn't know if that was you who replied. I should mention that. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to scam the people out of a chemical engineer answer. I just picked a random chatter and read their message. That was a great shot. I'm doing my PhD in chemistry. Hold on. And the worst answer is it depends. Okay, so acad academic spotted. Um, but I'd probably say the greasy, caloric, dense meat is worse. Confirmed? The smartest person in chat says pepperoni's worse. Dude, she was stunned. Did you see that? She didn't know what to do. She's like... She's trying to punish me when I hit a My Beloved, but if I'm not hitting My Beloved, she's got no chance. Okay, she's got a chance. She's got a chance. According to the Domino's Pizza Calometer, per slice, cheese adds 100 calories while pepperoni adds 40. Yeah, but you're getting like twice as much cheese. If anything, that's an indictment of Domino's. They should be putting more pepperoni per slice on the pizza. That's like, oh, you know, that doesn't even hold a candle to the crust. Hey, can I get a crustless pizza, please? I just don't, give me, give me a crustless pepperoni pizza. I don't want those carbs. Hold on, hold on. Then give him one of these. Then. Didn't get staggered. You think cheese is worse for you? You guys, you've lost your minds. I already know we're deep in the like, I, I had to turn off the stream after this. You've lost your mind. I'm not talking about craft singles. Oh, you asked which is better? Okay, never mind. All right, I just wanted to be mad. Sorry, I, I, I people talked myself into a, everybody's okay, all right. You guys are all, you're sane. Both are terrible for you? I think pepperoni's terrible for you. I don't think cheese is terrible for you. I think in moderation, it's fine. I'm not a nutritionist, by the way. It's very fatty. So what, are you living in 1996? Cheese, I think, has some nutritional benefit. And the nutritional benefit for pepperoni is, tastes good. I would rather have ground beef on my pizza than pepperoni. I mean, that's just asinine. At least ground beef, or at, at least pepperoni has flavor. Like, I'm not trying to take, I'm not trying to kick pepperoni out of the pizza pantheon. I'm just saying it's it's stunning to me that they could sell pepperoni without like a Surgeon General's warning on it. That was what started the whole conversation. And then I forgot everybody in chat wants to fuck pepperoni. 
They can't handle the slightest bit of constructive criticism about pepperoni. I just think it's, there should be a photo of like a man's enlarged heart on the bag so that when you buy it, like you know what you're getting into. The same way like when you buy cigarettes, it has like an x-ray of somebody's lung on it. And then on cheese, go ahead. There should be a photo of a shirtless bodybuilder smiling and eating like a little bit of it. All right, I'm putting the cork in the pepperoni conversation. I'm just, at least if you're watching, here's, here's my take home message. If you're watching this and you care about your health, you might not, which, you know, I, I, I go through phases as well. But if you're watching this, you care about your health and you eat a lot of pepperoni, perhaps consider investigating at least using an alternative meat. Anything in, in moderation, including moderation, sure. Help. But like, don't be afraid to maybe be like, you know what, instead of pepperoni sandwiches this week, we're gonna get like a little sliced turkey breast or something. It's still probably not perfect for you, but it's an improvement at least. Okay, this is how I win. This is how you beat me. Congrats, congrats on your victory, Melania. <laughs> good hit, good hit. We respect those. The Millennia Respector is logged on. I just ralphed all over my desk. This message sent to you from the 1980s. Who says ralphed anymore? Yacked? <laughs> Yacked I'll accept. Ralph? Spewed? I'll allow spewed. Ever been to Yuck Yucks in Ottawa? Uh, what was that jellyfish? That was someone wearing a hat. It's nice, you know, in the, the winter season, you drive across the causeway, you go to Fort Henry, a man in 1800s officer garb asks you whether you want light meat turkey or dark meat turkey, and then you go, is it possible to get a little, bo a little bit of both? And then he looks at you as only a good waiter can and says, I think we can make that happen. Everybody should have that experience once in their life. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Backstab. Pizza cutter. Stop being so accurate, I hate it. That's because... You can't be like NL's got his finger on the pulse of what the modern man thinks and then disagree with the pepperoni take, okay? If you think I got my finger on the pulse, then I got my finger on the pulse of everything. What's better for you, light or dark meat turkey? That's a good question. Uh, here's what I would say about that. Unlike pepperoni pizza, there's only like one day a year where turkey's ubiquitous in our society, so I wouldn't waste the cognitive energy concerning yourself with it. I'm not checked out, it's just hard. <laughs> it's just the, you know, again, gamers are not used to something actually challenging them to do anything except remember the three digits on the back of their credit card. So when you see someone not succeeding, it looks like they're not trying. I promise you, I'm, I'm putting an effort into this. It's just gonna, you, got, you gotta get some reps in the gym. Then if we're being realistic, you probably also gotta take a sleep to codify that stuff in your brain. And then you come back on, on Monday and you crush it. I mean, like, we're never getting hit by that attack again. We'll get hit by this one every time, apparently. Sounds like, It is funny, though. Like, this is, um... It tilts me so much less than the Radon fight. Just because of the, it's literally the run-up. We diagnosed it appropriately. At least you're back in the fight like two seconds later. You don't have to dodge like a bunch of glowing blue arrows just to go in and get two tapped. Come on, man. This is not where you want to be. She's in endless sicko mode. I'm in sippo mode. She's in sicko mode. We are not the same. There you go. You really only have to be like nearly perfect. It's not even that big of a deal. How about that? How about break the wrist, roll away? Hmm, not good. How about this? How about we die? 
<laughs> How did this man get to Melenia already? I mean, literally the last 25 bosses we fought died in like under 10 attempts for sure. So we made a lot of progress very quickly. We also spent a very minimal amount of time getting lost because we had chat handholding, which is very important in terms of overall efficiency. Okay, I don't necessarily think we should have lived through that one, but we did. I thought you were calling me lucky because I lived. I think you're calling me lucky because I got to see her feet. Come on, I had you, I had you dead the rights. Three of those, phase one, three of those. Again, that's the first time I ever saw Shrek. It was a VHS, uh, a VHS on a bus on the way back from the Museum of Civilization. Turning point in my life. I didn't know I'd still be thinking about the movie, you know, nearly 30 years, well, over 20 years later. Yeah, it was a different world. Like when you had to get a good seat on the bus so you could, I'm dead. Uh, you had to get a good seat on the bus so you could see the TV. Watch some good bus movies. We definitely watched A Night at the Roxbury on the bus in like 8th grade, which is kind of funny to think back. I feel like that probably wouldn't fly nowadays. I honestly thought we had that one. You watch Borat on a bus? Is you, did your teacher get fired? Promoted? Did you, did you go to school at comedy school? Was Don Rickles your professor? Actually, I can think of one pretty bad trip, okay? In eighth grade, this is another classic, like, Eastern Ontario trip. Uh, we took the Thousand Islands Ferry from Gananoque to Alexandria, New York to visit Bolt Castle. Two reasons it kind of sucked, okay? First one, at Bolt Castle, I was hungry. So I got a chicken burger from the canteen. When I bit into the chicken burger, the middle of it was pink and ice cold. So I went back to the canteen and was like, hey, my chicken burger is like raw. And they were like, okay, we can make you another one. And I was like, I don't have time because the ferry's about to leave. Like they're not gonna hold the ferry for like a hundred people so that one dude can get a properly cooked chicken burger. They got like very important, rigorous, like embarking and disembarking times, right? So I was, I guess I was just like, hey, you know, just so you know, you got to cook those things a little longer. And then the other reason, my mom was um, the chaperone. And I was at an age where I was like, I would have a lot more fun on this field trip if my mom wasn't the chaperone. Because I got to be like home Ryan instead of school Ryan. And school Ryan wasn't afraid to cut up a little bit. Home Ryan was like a much nicer... You know, much, much more gentle soul. That's too much. When is it going to be enough for you, Melania? Which Ryan are we getting right now? I mean, this is school Ryan. No question. But I would say rather than real Ryan becoming more like home Ryan, they fused at some point. You know, as soon as you become like a peer to your parent instead of... Uh, like a subordinate in all ways. I think that's when your personality really unifies, you know? Like, I say the F word in front of my mom. My mom. I'm a, I'm a 33-year-old man with a kid. You think she can't handle the F word? Doesn't bother me at all. Now, if she was like, stop swearing, I would be like, Okay. Because I respect her. I don't want to make her uncomfortable. But that's her problem. That's not my problem. Okay, now towards. Nailed it. Only very nearly died. All right, that was good. Almost had it. I think we got to... We've got this. 
if we delay the phase one phase two panic roll panic roll panic roll phase three <gasps> panic roll you got to take one one pause you got to take a half measure rest so you're gonna go like you're gonna hold your breath like you're in open water and then you're gonna go <gasps> and then you're gonna get in hello chibli chibli watch this okay when you get to this boss i'm gonna show you how to defeat her okay a lot of people will tell you she's like hard she's actually pretty easy the only thing that's hard about her is that she has like one attack that is impossible to avoid. And then also every time she hits you, including with the unavoidable attack, she uh, heals all the HP damage you've done to her over the course of the entire game up to that point. Hold your breath. <gasps> I panic rolled instead of, I, I didn't do a, <gasps> I panic rolled. Hardest boss in the game. I don't know. I mean, there's Tree Sentinel level one. Tree Sentinel before you have a horse. That's something. I'm more, like, the longer this goes on, the more flabbergasted I am that we got to phase two, like, two times in a row. Like, what the hell was I on earlier? You know what? It's probably because I had some cheese before the stream. And it juiced me up a little bit. And now I'm thinking about pepperoni. is slowing down my brain arteries. G Fuel's wearing off. You guys get me my own G Fuel deal? Exclamation point G Fuel in the chat. It's a uh, egg over easy flavored. Scrambled egg G Fuel. Here's the thing though. I don't just want like a flavor and an affiliate code. I want to custom design my own nootropic stack. Because I don't want the nootropic stacks to be what they normally are. Which is to like maximize gamer power. I want it to maximize rhetoric, okay? Like I don't really want your reaction time to be better. <laughs> I want your, I want your Broca's area and your Wernicke's area to be fucking lightning quick. I want you to be able to put together withering sentences in response to the slightest bit of criticism at lightning speeds. Call it banter fuel. Hold on, I got an idea. You know, should we use a rune arc? I've been really like... Kind of trying to keep them, like, doled out as slowly as possible, because I only have 103. Okay, fine. I'll use a rune arc. Like, I just don't want to get addicted to the stats from a rune arc. And then be like... Then run out, you know? I'd rather save them for a boss that's actually hard. Give me a double sip. Dude, thanks to the rune arc stat upgrade, my sips are so fast. Don't. You know what? Take one of those. I normally wouldn't use such violent language. Minus one arc. We got two minutes left, one minute left. That's like six or seven attempts. I'm not using another rune arc. That was that's as deep as it's gonna go. Yeah, what about a throwing knife? Oh, I'm I'm out, unfortunately. I used them all on the tree sentinel. I mean the Scarlet Rot Erd Tree Avatar. You that's a new attack. You didn't use to delay that. I've lost a lot of respect for you. I didn't know you were a delay user start calling you Tom, like Tom DeLay. Okay, maybe one bleed trigger would do it. My God, it's happened. Now don't get hit by that. <laughs> you know, I'm sipping, man. I want to stay here. You know what? You better make this a good one. I only got 98 of those. Immediately? Sip me. Terrible decision. Sasuke! Just let me... Like, I just want to sip and then fight you as an equal, okay? That's not happening. Okay. Let me see if my wife's ready to stream. Hey, at least we made it to the third, uh, for, to phase two for the third time. 
good hit. Good terrain, stagger. No stagger, no green, no red. 10 years ago, we had Bob Hope, Johnny Cash, and Steve Jobs. Now we got no hope, no jobs, no cash. Good. Not my finest performance on that one. Please don't let anything happen to Kevin Bacon. Good one. That's a good one. Plus two. Win this one, then we'll forget about the pepperoni discussion. Honestly, you guys just aren't ready. You're going to have a talk with your cardiologist in like the 2030s, and he's going to be like, let me guess, pepperoni? Hit her with the My Beloved? Okay, one. Just one, though. Honestly, that attack is like nothing. That one's pretty good. All right. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. My beloved, by the way, it's a my beloved percent. You got to use big brain jump attack. Did you hear that? Was that in game or? <laughs> oh, it's because Ruka jumped on my damn printer. What the hell? Get off my scanner, man. It's tax season. Got to be patient here. Then? That's as good as that's ever gonna be. Plus, we got a praise. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, we just got a praise. That's terrible news, but at least we stopped her. Crusher. Pizza. Don't do it. Okay, that's the best phase one we've ever had by far. <laughs> like, without a doubt. Not even close. What? What the hell just happened, man? Was it hubris? I got my ass kicked like a hundred times. Literally, the fastest I've ever done it is not hubris. That's like saying, like, uh, I was ass before. Look at how easy it was to set a Guinness Book of World Records that was, like, you know, null before. Don't even try it. There's no sasuke in here. Okay, this is for real the last one, though. And it's, it's going like it's the last one as well. Hello, Squeaks, by the way. I see you. Squeaks, you would love this, by the way. I said that Red Lobster can't raise their prices because most of their clientele is on a fixed income. And then Hambuster, too, noted celebrity from your chat, tried to cancel me by saying that's pretty fucked up. So then in chat, I, I replied and said, at Hambuster, fixed income means they're old, not they're poor. Take an e economics class. And then I hit the enter button to send it. And then I said, or you could just go back to Squeak's chat and spam. Ha 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 And I felt like, I felt adrenaline coursing through my veins. On a Monday to feel that kind of streamer power is very rare. Normally it takes until Friday to become that disillusioned that you snap. <laughs> and start talking about pepperoni. By the way, I had my comeuppance in the pepperoni discussion. Because on uh, uh, last night we went to the grocery store and I was like, hey, Kate, is there anything you're feeling for dinner? And she said, you were talking about pizza and pepperoni so much on Friday. I, I think I'm craving a pepperoni pizza. Which is nice because I got to eat a pepperoni pizza that I made, you know, parts of it myself. I'm dead. I'm not dead. But, you know, did force me to, you know, experience my, the, the comeuppance of my hubris. I'm not dead, but she's not dead either. So we're facing problems. Do those attacks that are easy to dodge, like that one where you use like a blade flurry. I believe it's called River Songs Dance. Yeah, this one. Just another easy one like that. 
That wasn't as bad as it could be. Help. Beautiful. Okay. I mean, just to see phase two is a, is a blessing. It's beautiful. Okay. We get phase two again. That feels great. Um, phase two again. That feels great. Now let's at least learn something from this. Now don't do what every host does and run in here and get Scarlet Rod immediately. We gotta be aggressive. What if we just spam her with the pizza, man? Okay, <laughs> honestly, she's more hurt than I would have expected. Do an attack I know how to dodge, please. Great double ship, okay. Holy cow, that's a tough one. I'm sipping, three flasks. That's a good opportunity to learn something. What the hell's going? What the hell's going on? <laughs> oh man. She was sending like seven different dudes after me. Okay, I'm just going straight in, man. Straight in. She's like, holy crap, he's different. This guy's leveled his decks up to 22. He's got the hitboxes memorized. Wow, tarnished. Did you level your decks? I thought the old lady threw it into the ocean at the end. Well, I went down and got it for you. Aw, you shouldn't have. I'm winning this fight right now. But you know what? Life comes at you fast. I haven't done anything. Living is a blessing there. By the way, this is a great uh, microcosm of what will happen to you if you summon the help with this boss. Enjoy the host. Um, that was so lucky, but I, I missed my crit because it's so fast. We got to bleed, though. Enjoy the host never helping out at all, and then Millennia still choosing to do the water dance at the host, and then the host dying in one hit. I don't even blame him. That shit is, like, tough to dodge. I'm not like other streamers. I don't even want to be phase one. Like, we don't even... If we don't have a chance to be phase two, just kill me. Here, learn how to dodge attacks. Dodge attacks 2022 challenge, impossible. Jump attacks 2022 challenge, impossible not to succeed. Did you beat Mog? I'm so happy to finally be able to answer a did you beat X question today with a yes. Because I, I can, my mental can only, just, oh, I'm dead. Um, can only sustain so many, like, did you beat millennials? Why did people, get, how did they get so good at games? I played this shit, like, all through my childhood. Not Dark Souls specifically, but video games in general. And then I did it for a job for, like, ten years. I'm still ass. <laughs> well, it's not, I think I'm actually pretty good at, at the Souls games. Better than average, but not world class. Great dodge on her part. I gotta put some respect on her name. That was a good attack. Let me tell you, I watched some other streamers play this. You are not bad. Like, I'm... I know I'm good at this. I'm just... I'm in an awkward place because I'm, like... Also doing the game... Not the hardest way, but, like, a hard way. And a lot of the other people that are at least most visible that do that are like, Oh, yeah, and I also did it without being hit. But comparison is the theft of joy. Like, well, no, that's not really true. Comparison is like, it's the giver of joy when you get summoned. Because honestly, I, I felt I've never had my confidence take such a boost in a Souls game than when I started allowing myself to be summoned for some boss fights. Someone else uh, goes green 9090 tweeted like, you wouldn't... Uh, believe like how many hosts in this game when you get summoned just die to one hit and i was i replied and i was like you would just being genuine with you 
the sheer number of times that like I get summoned, the host just fucks off for the whole fight, lets me solo the boss down to 5% of their HP, runs in to try to do a jump attack to get the last hit, and gets hit by some attack that they've never dodged before because they've never dodged any attack that the boss has done, and they get hit by it and die in one hit because they never leveled their vigor. It actually happens like in 10, that's the exact formula of like 10% of my times being summoned. There's also some times where I'm summoned and I'm pure ass. There's times where I'm summoned and there's three people. One of them is the host, one of them is me, and then the, th oh no. The third guy is a blue laser beam user. That's as good as it's ever gonna get. When you're a summon and you see somebody else pop in and they have a bright blue laser beam coming out of them immediately, you're like, let's go. <laughs> we got a shot. Okay, I gotta wait for you to not rot me. And then I'm just gonna try this. Please. I got a sip, lady. Fair enough, fair enough. Can I stagger you? Sip me. There's a rhythm! I'm not respecting the rhythm! <clears throat> That's a right left roll. Thank you for the intel. That's huge. That's huge. I finally saw someone summon an, an Ash of War, or whatever they're called, the Jellyfish of War. And I did, for the first time, I felt a pang of jealousy. And I, I'm admitting it, though it's unbecoming of me to have felt it. The honorable, th well, well done. Yeah. The honorable thing to do is admit it. Cause I saw, I forget who I was watching. It was just like a random streamer, I think. They went into a boss fight and they summoned a Viking archer at the very edge of the arena and then just fought the boss. And I was like, man, this is like literally just 10% free damage. That's so nice. Every time you just walk in and you go ding, 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 ding. And then like a Viking archer just comes out and is like, I got you, dude. That sounds nice, honestly. The great Iron Tarkus. Frontier Pharmacist. Okay, you got me. Although there is, I will say, I also had a glimmer of despair watching Chib do invasions, because I realized that it's not like... I mean, some people will summon you for, like, 1v1s. But I don't want to fight those people, because that's, you know, they're getting some Dark Souls Fight Club stuff. That's not really my vibe. Sasuke? Um, but otherwise, the only people you're going to be invading are people who have used the Furl Calling Remedy to see player summon signs. So you're basically, oh, I'm dead, always going to be invading someone who has one to two friends. You can only invade one, one v one versus the Taunter Tongue. Ah, I understand. I do kind of miss, it's probably a gentler new player experience, but I do kind of miss the era of like someone could just be white knuckling their way through like Ann Orlando, and then you're like, surprise motherfucker. <laughs> a level 60 dude, full Havel set, Quaylog's Fury Sword. You're and like, as soon as you invaded somebody and you saw that they had the Drake Sword, you're like, man. This is gonna be fun. Then they they start to run, and you're like, oh, where are you going? Where? They get to the they're back to the balcony, so there was nowhere to go. You start just shoveling dung pies at them. Oh man. Oh man, what a rush. Those were the days. Ninety, no crafting. You got to kill those huge giants with the clubs in Blight Town over and over to get ninety nine dung pies. What if I don't jump? What if I just spam? This is not... I'm literally just pressing L1. What would you think was going to happen? You thought the secret of this boss was going to be mashing one button over and over? I got that for one more. And then... I mean, don't look. 
I only have 102 of these left. A resin arc. I didn't, I didn't even use my flask. That's how I anti resin it. Holy cow. You see that? What the heck? We're doing like six more damage per combo. 25 of those were pogging. Get interrupted. That was like not even close. All right, I could try one more. All right, all right. Did I, did in a moment of weakness, did I try to use multiple rune arcs? Yes. I thought maybe if I used 120 rune arcs, she would have gotten smoked. Honestly, this is a fight where I feel like I'm best off at mid range. I feel like mid range has helped us out the most here. Not yet. I'm not done. Come on in. Get closer. I got enough. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> now get out of there for a second. I'm going to wait for like a just a couple of seconds, okay? I'm going to sip early. I only got a little blue left. I know I'm going to get rotted or at least there's going to be a good chance. That's horrible. That's all, all the bad with none of the good. But what a what a moment this would be for the gambling agnostic believers if we manage to pull a dub out of here. No attacks, only heals challenge. Possible. Right. Left, right, left. I think I died to rot. That's an improvement. Hello, Chibli. Hello. I was praising your invasion streams. It gave me more motivation to finish the game. Not that I was lacking necessarily, but I mean, this is kind of a, <laughs> this is a bit of a drag. Sure, yeah. Okay. Let's just start the fight over from the very beginning. That sounds good. Um, yeah, great dodge. Your input reader. Yeah, well, I'll do one more probably. 150's the meta. Yeah, if you want to do late game PvP and invasions like a nerd. If you want to make your name on Twitter like the crestfallen warrior of the lands between. I want to be like level 8 and invade people as they try to fight like the burial Erd tree watchdog and just freaking gank them. Yeah, I want to invade new players and make them fear the online mechanics so that they never summon because they're worried that they're going to be invaded by me. How about we just, like, do this? Check this out. New mechanic. Obviously, just pressing L1 is never going to work. Thank you. Freaking finally. Oh, my God. Then, pizza cutter. We, we interrupted her uh, her nasty attack. That's not even that nasty. You just have to learn how to dodge it like I did. I hate you for input reading. Just kill me. Just shoot me. Okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> if you told me I'd be finishing the game at 36 decks, I don't know what I would have told you, man. I would have said I would have called you a liar probably. Okay, I'm ready. First try. You only get one chance at a first try. Look at that. Prepare to people talk. Why, you think I'm going to let you watch the cutscene? Because she's not getting to say what she normally says when she kills me. I've been killed by her for the last time. You should have been staggered, and you know it. That's the... Okay, never mind. No, I don't... Like, double crucible, look. I get that, like, for the meme, it makes sense. But double crucible for... Like, it, to have to do a dungeon in advance of it. Like, that's just a pending content for content's sake, I think, at this point. 
I'm out. I'm in. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. She's sipping on you like a damn juice box. You just wait till I get my freaking crit window. Then I pizza cut her. Then we're instantly in phase two. And I'm not talking about a used clothing store on Princess Street. Could use some rune arcs. Hold on. You know what? Here's the ultimate uh, copium. Or the, I mean, this is actually submission. Get that lantern off your, your hot bar. Replace it with a rune arc. We only have... 114, but still, we got 114 tries. So, good sense dictates you have to stop at one bleed trigger. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know, it worked. I can't believe it worked. That didn't used to work. Get out of here. No. Oh no. That weapon is such BS. There's only two phases of chat. I'm kicking ass. Pizza cutter's too good. I'm getting bodied. When are you gonna change weapons? When are you gonna use Moon Veil? Left, right. Left, that's fine. Then she comes down. Then she comes down. We were dancing. We were dancing, though. What, are you gonna change weapon? <laughs> the summer of NL incoming. Dude, I'm so stoked for the summer. This has been, like, the longest winter of all time. Not in, like, a meteorological sense, obviously. But, like, again, I, I'm... Basically, I'm just fishing for sympathy. You don't have to give it to me. I'll give it to myself. But... Ever since our daughter went into daycare, which we did to, you know, reclaim some of our, like, personal and professional time. As well as give her some socialization. Um, she's been sick for, like, 55% of that. Oh, I'm supposed to pizza cut you. My bad. Instead, we'll have to perfectly dodge this. <laughs> She's been sick like 60% of the winter at this point. Um, I'm ready for that shit to be over. Like at least in the summertime, if she's sick, we could go for a walk outside. <laughs> Can't go into like any, any stores, but you know, we can at least go for a nice walk in nature. In the summertime where the baby is sick. You could not really go into a store, but you could buy something maybe from like a food truck that is somewhere in the city that you find. Anyway, Vancouver's pretty green. It's like a, it's a green city. Sometimes it's like, it's so green, it's illegal to drive. You'll be like driving and you'll be like, I gotta get to a business that's over here. But every street that you try to go down just has a sign that says local traffic only plus cyclists. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're a driver. And you're like, well, I guess I'll, guess I'll park at the dang Pacific Center or something. Oh, hello, honey. Hello. Oh, lunchtime. How was your lunch, honey? Did you have pasta? Of course. Hello. Don't worry about all this on the screen right now. It's just like, you know, it's just a lady and like, she's just, we're not fighting. We're like negotiating or something. Oh, so cute. All right, you piece. That's a really good attack. I lived. I want to run away so I don't get Scarlet Rot.
Does it ever end? I'm only not attacking because I don't want the baby to see the damage that a pizza cutter can do in the wrong hands. Let thy flesh be consumed. Why do you like the forest? Does this happen to people often in their lives? They join a conversation in media res and operate on an assumption that doesn't make any sense? Here, let me, uh, here's the play-by-play. -play. On the last episode of Better Call Saul, I said, I love the summertime because I can go for a walk and at least experience some nature. Somebody in chat who doesn't have a passport said, ah, yes, that famed Vancouver nature. Although I believe they said Vancouverian. To which we did some digging, some evidence-based research, and found out that Vancouver actually has quite a high percentage of... Uh, forests for a city of its size. Now I'm being painted as like some kind of poison ivy type character that loves the fortress when all I was doing was engaging in verbal self-defense. The fortress? When people started spamming the fortress, my first thought was not that I said a word wrong. My first thought was like, they're talking about how my brain's like a fortress of ideas. I should be dodging that one. Why do you hate nature? This is the problem with the internet, man. This is why everybody who's ever spent time on Twitter, they, they start by posting, here's a cool photo of my sandwich. And then, after that, they get 100 replies. Wow, oh, I guess you're not worried about your carbohydrates, right? Oh, is that processed meat? Don't you know what those nitrites do to your... They're known carcinogens. Oh, Dempster's bread. Don't you know they were invo involved in the Loblaws bread-fixing scandal with Galen Weston? So then, phase two of everybody on social media is... Um, everybody, before they post a photo of their sandwich, they gotta go... Uh, hey, guys... I just thought it would be nice if I posted a photo of my sandwich. I enjoyed it today. I know sandwiches aren't for everybody. I know like way too much context surrounding every single ingredient here. I know I used uh, Heinz ketchup, even though Heinz moved their plant out of Canada. So now I could have gotten French's, but we just had some Heinz in the fridge. I'd, one of 17 tweets, then there's a photo of the sandwich. And then phase three, the optimal phase is just no tweets. And we're rapidly approaching that. Help me. As a as a society. And it's for the best. Help. Back me up. Help. The only preferences I have for like any biome is in a video game. And in bi in video games, city is always the best biome. The concrete jungle. Following this, forest. Usually forest is world one. That means it's easy. You're learning the mechanics. The music's always like bright and sunny. It's like a Caro Caro Benito song. Then, honestly, I think that's where you start to have maybe a, a difference of opinion. I'm like a, I'm an ice guy after that, but I know a lot of people will probably choose like fire instead, which is fine. Okay, she's like right back in here, huh? Sasuke? Fair enough. You don't like ice? I like the ice worlds, man. Not so much in, you know, Dark Souls 2. Clouds, dude, if you get to the clouds. Oh man, that's the best. If there's 10 worlds in a 2D platformer, you know like number nine is gonna be clouds and you're gonna be like, oh, pog. This is gonna be the end. But then it's not the end. Then you either go into like outer space or alternatively like you know, maybe like the bad guy's secret volcano lair. You can't use a rune arc in this situation? Come on, man. What do you got for me? One of those. No big deal. I'm insane. Get her. Good job. It'll contribute to the stagger. Huge. Actually, amazing. I would like some green back, please. And then you got a pizza cut. Till the first bleed trigger and then you got to get out of there we got lucky once don't let it ruin your mechanics for the rest of the game try having some stam recover some stam it's not illegal to have stam look at 
said. You get in, you get out. You get in, you get out. Now, flasks have never really been our problem. <laughs> if they were, I'd be feeling pretty sick right now. But... Dude, if we could get a stagger and follow it up with a pizza cutter... Oh, man. Just get out of there. Get some green back. She does too. And then she rots ya. No. He's insane with it. Don't rush me. You just did your... You gotta have a refractory period of some sort. <laughs> She's coming. She's coming. Oh, I was just running. I was just running. This is like a boss. Yeah, she's like one of the bosses. Not like a noteworthy one. Might be fun to be a summon. It's a very good nature comment. I apologize. My initial hunch was to respond as sarcastically as possible. But that's kind of like also what you're here for. But like, yeah, if your idea of fun is getting summoned by a host who lets you solo the boss uh, while they stand in the corner doing nothing and then jumps into the phase two rot immediately, dies, and then resummons you every single time even though you put them on the do not call list. I didn't get Sasuke. Just go for it. I really, I, I thought the stagger was coming. I thought so too. There's dozens of us, two guys. Where would you place her on the difficulty curve for souls bosses? Um, the tippy top, I would say. I don't know if that means number one, but definitely like in the top category. Her or Demon of Hatred? I don't remember who Demon of Hatred is. Wait a minute. You're not making fun of me for having trouble with Demon of Song in Dark Souls 2 in 2014, are you? Time to die. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a guy from Sekiro. Ah, that I opted not to fight. Oh my god, that guy was annoying. I remember that. I did I I fought him a couple times and then was like, I'll do it later. And then by the time I finished Sekiro, I was so annoyed with the uh, response to the series that I never went back. <laughs> her or Orphan of Kos? Definitely her. I, mean, I think the first time we, we beat Orphan of Kos, it took us like three hours. That's like... Uh, that's something we experienced in uh, Elden Ring a few times, obviously including Millennia. Her or Pinwheel, that's tough. Cause like her attacks are worse, but it's harder to stay awake during the Pinwheel fight. You think it, if we were actually doing a list, is Pinwheel the most diff or the <laughs> Freudian slip? Is Pinwheel the easiest boss in Souls history? It is a guy you just attack about five times. Miss Noble? I'm realizing I'm never going to remember the names of these bosses because they were so ass that there's nothing to remember. Demon of Song? Shut up, okay? There you go. Land. Get get another one, dude. You're not Sasuke-ing me. I Sasuke you. I am the one who Sasuke. I am the one who Sasuke's. Guess what? Get staggered. Oh my god. So lucky. How did that hit? How did it hit? Yes! This is our... You gotta try this. We wake her up with the pizza cutter. Just hold. Hold! <laughs> sit me, sit me, sit me. 
I'll still take the double ship on that one any day of the damn week. Oh, she's so fast! We were inches away. Inches away. At least we've seen the the we've seen through the crack in the door for the first time. Imagine a world where the pizza cutter hits early instead of waiting. Cause like I gotta what I gotta do, I gotta break lock on with the pizza cutter and manually move it a little bit to my left. And then it's gonna stagger her. She's missing like ten hits of the of the rev up. Yo, Shadow Insurgent. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. It's a scary name though. I don't know if I'd be able to like log into my Twitch account if that was my Twitch name. I'd get like a chill up my spine. I'd be all like Monka S. Oh, by the way, I am Malinia, Blade of Makila. Do another. You're so lucky that all I do is jump attack. Nice Sasuke, just kidding. Right, left, right, left. We're doing a lot better on phase one, no doubt about it. Not gonna say consistently getting to phase two, but more consistently. So like, I gotta just be honest here. The reason I didn't wanna say consistently is cause I was like, I feel like that invites having a very bad round. But the game knew that I was trying to cheat the system. I was trying to cheat my way out of the jinx. And as a result, I remain punished. They knew it was a spiritual jinx. They knew. You're so lucky. I feel like he's been fighting the same dude for three days, Lamau. You should travel to the VOD and rewind it to yesterday. Because we didn't fight the boss. I mean, I think we fought her five times yesterday. We beat like 15% of the game in the last two days. You feel wrong. Your, your emotions in reality are not reconciled with one another. We beat Godfrey. We beat Joffrey. We beat Malekith. We beat the final boss of the game. We beat Loretta 5. I should have held it. <laughs> I, should, I got a better chance with the hold, man. You beat Placidusax. I did beat Placidusax. Dick Skin Nobles. I mean, that was a gimme. Placidusax broke for me. The man just stopped fighting. That's called a resignation. I mean, what were you wearing? Because honestly... The armor probably just intimidated him to the point where he was like, I'm not, I'm not fighting this guy. I'd rather just die. Stop it. Stop attacking, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm dead of it. I'm alive with it. Be stunned. Be stunned. I'm actually kind of insane. I got a pizza cut. I got no stamp. I get a pizza cut you. Are you crazy? One sip. That's all it takes. Hopefully, because that's all we get. Well, she's healed more than I've done damage to her. And I've hit her about six times. So that's not a good start. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I felt like I was doing pretty well. Um, she she creates rot underneath her, maybe? Oh, she does. Okay, she creates rot underneath her. Fair enough. Still got a lot of these left. Don't you have the rot talisman? Mmm, doesn't sound familiar. I'm not gonna say no, 
Like Jonas Brothers, never say never. Harry Styles, never say never. Who, who's the artist associated with never? Justin Bieber, never say never. Justin Bieber? My, my mistake. That's an older reference for me, but it checks out. I never stopped believing it would work, and that's my downfall. Give me a quick double. <clears throat> Give me a quick double. What the hell? I staggered her with a pressure wave. You love to see it. Take your time. Take your time. Get those runes out of here. They're distracting me. There should be an option to play the game where your runes don't appear when you die. Because honestly, my runes are worth more to me dead. Like, they distract me on the map. Huge punish. Let's go. One attack, two attacks. We, we were in a little earlier than usual. All right, now we're even again. <laughs> How we doing? How we doing? One of these. Man, if only my dude could rotate like slightly faster. Just because I dodged, you got to do one more attack? Oh my god. Input reading. Give me two. We got a chance for... I said give me two. Two piece? You can't get hit by that. That's your bread and butter. You got to get a little bread and butter before you get pizza. Let's go. I'm not saying this is it. I'm just saying there's a chance. That's terrible. I've never seen this. Remove me. Just relax. Terrible timing. Oh my gosh, she kicked me out of it. Hard right! Sip me! I don't care, just sip me! Fuck you! Extraordinary. <laughs> the mark of a true lord. Who? <laughs> Heart rate? Dear Nicola. Oh, dearest. I'm gonna say we're in the I'm gonna say we're close to a hundred. I'm sorry. I finally met my match. Only? Why have we doing a lot of cardio lately? Hey, Tappy on 013, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, honestly, this wasn't even like that hard or whatever. Well, I the stream did what it said on the tin. I said maybe we'll beat the game today. I didn't think that we would also beat Melenia, but here we are. Hey, Degrim. Degrim. Thank you as well. Thank You're beautiful.